I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com, and in this episode of Throttle Out, we're gonna be building the ultimate summertime Jeep. This thing's gonna be ready to spend some time on the beach, around the farm, or hitting the trails. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out other great builds like this one, and comment below to let us know what you think of this build or what theme you think we should go with next. So like I said, this is going to be a fair weather Jeep, spending most of the time with the top down and the doors off, cruising on the beach and around the farm. So the lift wheels and tires that we picked for this build are going to be geared specifically toward that, but we're also going to add some bumpers, some lights, and some other appearance parts. So let's get into it. We're just about finished up with the lift kit on this Jeep, and because this is going to be a summertime Jeep, it's going to be running around on the beach and also on the farm, we didn't need a ton of suspension travel. We actually went with the Terraflex 3-inch Sport ST3 lift kit with Fox shocks, and this kit is designed to ride really well on the road, also go off-road, but do a little bit more of a high-speed overland traveling instead of that slow speed rock crawling where you need even more articulation. So as it says in the name, this kit does include Fox Performance 2.0 shocks. These are reservoir shocks. They're a nitrogen shock. And again, everything is geared toward that slightly higher speed. So the reservoirs are going to allow for some additional fluid, keep the shocks from cavitating and getting any kind of shock fade, especially when we're out on the trail or the beach for long periods of time. Of course, you're gonna have a new set of springs that are gonna provide that three inches of lift. And this comes with the TerraFlex speed bumps, which is a little bit different than your traditional bump stop. Again, this is a little bit more about that higher speed. It's really gonna to help to absorb any shock when the suspension does come to a full uh, collapsed position. This kit comes with lower control arms up front. It also comes with an adjustable front track bar. And in the back, you are gonna have pretty much similar components, although it's slightly different. Over here, we have a pair of control arms, both upper and lower in the rear. And what that's going to do is allow for the proper pinion angle so you don't get any sort of driveline vibrations with this lift kit. As you might have seen up front and in the back, you have a set of limiting straps. What that's gonna do is help to protect our shocks against any sort of damage when you're doing that high speed type wheeling. If the suspension does come to a full droop, instead of putting all that stress on the shock, you have your limiting strap here. So with this lift kit, you could run a variety of different tire sizes. 35s are usually what I would recommend for around three to three and a half inches of lift if you are looking for a lot of articulation. However, in our case, because we're running on the beach, we're running on the farm, we're actually gonna squeeze a set of 37 inch tires under this Jeep. I think it's gonna look great and we don't need the travel because we're not doing a lot of rock crawling. So again, I think 37s is the way to go. But we are gonna try a set of 33s as well, even though they are gonna be a little bit small for this size lift. So we have one more thing we're gonna do while the Jeep's up in the air. We're gonna finish up with the exhaust here, then get it on the ground and move on to the rest of the parts. So that's the last piece we're putting on the underside of the Jeep here before we get it back on the ground. We installed the Magnaflow Performance Series Black Axleback Exhaust. And what this is gonna do for us is of course change up the look of the back of the Jeep. Having the black muffler with the dual tips gives us a much more aggressive look. And if we were building a Jeep that's designed to crawl on the trails, I probably would go with a high clearance exhaust system just to give us a little bit less to mangle when we're hitting the rocks. But because this is our summertime Jeep, we don't need that additional clearance and this exhaust is gonna give us exactly what we're looking for, which is a lower exhaust note and some additional exhaust volume. But instead of just listening to me tell you what it sounds like, have a listen for yourself. So we just finished installing these Smittybilt NFAB side steps that are gonna make it a lot easier to get in and out of this Jeep, especially now that it's lifted three inches and on those big 37 inch tires. Now obviously these are a side step, they're not going to be hardcore protection, not any sort of armor, but then again, this Jeep isn't going to be seeing a lot of rocks on the trails. This is gonna be running around on the beach where we don't need a lot of rock or protection. One of the biggest things that we've installed that's gonna have a huge impact on the look of this Jeep are these Ares automotive tube doors. And I really like the safari styling that these doors give. Of course, you can run around without doors on at all, but these give a little bit more of a secure feeling and definitely give you a look that running doorless just doesn't give you. We also have a couple of mirrors we're gonna be putting on these just to finish it up, keep us legal and keep us safe when we're out on the road. A couple other little parts that we installed while we were on the exterior of the Jeep here. We have the Rugged Ridge cowl body armor. 
as well as the hood stone guard up front. These are gonna be some stick-on pieces that really just help go along with the black and white theme that we have going on this Jeep. Now that we're done with some of the lightweight stuff, let's jump into the heavyweight armor. For some of the heavier armor, we went ahead and installed a set of Barricade Trail Force HD bumpers in both the front and the rear of the Jeep. And up front here, we topped it off with a Barricade 9,500 pound winch with the synthetic line. We installed these bumpers for a couple of reasons. One is just for the looks, but another is for the functionality. We're going to gain some recovery points both front and rear on this Jeep. And since we're going to be running around on the beach and at the farm where there's a chance we could get ourselves into a sticky situation, those recovery points can come in handy. I really like this front bumper because it also includes a spot for those factory fog lights. That's something I always look for in an aftermarket bumper. You already have the lights, everything's wired and switched for it. You might as well be able to use them and this bumper will allow for that. This is also going to have a bumper hoop up on top, offering a little bit of light protection for that winch. Now we decided to go with a 9,500 pound winch because even though this is a big four door JK, we're not adding a ton of additional armor. We don't plan on getting buried up to the axles in mud. So 9,500 pounds should be more than enough and I always prefer to go with synthetic over a steel cable because it is a little bit safer and a little bit easier to spool in and out when you need to. So that's it for the heavy armor. We're going to go ahead and hit some finishing touches on both the interior and the exterior of the Jeep as well as some lights. So we got the last couple of parts installed on this Jeep, a couple of electronics. Up front here we have a set of 3-inch square LED lights by Raxium on a set of Red Rock 4x4 brackets. And these lights are going to give us a little bit more of that off-road styling that we're after, but they're also going to be really functional. Of course, you're not going to be able to run these lights when you're driving down a dark back road with oncoming traffic, but with nobody around, these are going to give you a little bit of extra light so you can see in the gutters, make sure there's no wildlife crossing in front of you. And of course, when you're off-road, whether it be on the farm or on the beach, each, these are going to get some use. On the inside of the Jeep, we went ahead and installed a Raxium navigation system with a backup camera. This Jeep didn't have a nav in it from the factory, so of course we're gaining that functionality as well as the Bluetooth function, but we're also going to get that backup camera, which is going to be super helpful when we get a large 37 inch spare mounted on the back of this Jeep. Not going to be able to see much out the back window, so that navigation with the backup camera will definitely get a lot of use. So we're finished wrenching on this thing. Finally, it's time to get it out on the road and see how it handles. And and we're off. So now that we got this build all buttoned up, we got it out of the shop and out at the farm. We could have not asked for a better day. 75 and sunny, not a cloud in the sky. Can do a little bit of ripping around. No hardcore wheeling, but again, that's not what this Jeep was built for. This was built for going a little bit quicker on some rough, grassy areas, which is exactly what we have here. And of course, cruising on the beach as well. So. Right off the bat, I noticed this suspension is super smooth. I am incredibly happy with the way the suspension handles and works on-road and off-road. It really sucks up the bumps nicely. These 37-inch tires, we have air to the proper PSI, which is very important, and it rides incredibly smoothly. These tube doors are awesome. I love going doorless just as much as the next guy, but these do give a little bit more of a secure feeling, especially if you're going to have some younger passengers in your Jeep and they give you a really nice place to mount a set of mirrors so we're legal, we're safe, but we still have that open air experience. <laughs> now the next thing that I noticed right away is that Magnaflow exhaust. You'll of course notice it right away when you look at the back of the Jeep, but as you're driving you can really hear it. It gives you that nice deep throaty note, a little bit of additional volume, but it's not over the top, it's not droney in any way. Go ahead and throw it in neutral and just give you a little throttle blip. Now, because we are just cruising around on the grass here, we're hitting some rough terrain at speed. We're probably not going to end up using that winch, but if we were out here and it had just rained, we get ourselves into a sticky situation. It's nice to know that we can get out here with a tractor or something else, hook the winch on there, and get ourselves back moving again. But that's enough of me talking. I'm going to rip around here, have a little bit of fun, maybe hit a hill or two, and really see what this suspension can do at a slightly higher speed. Now I'm definitely somebody who likes to go slow, do some more technical style rock crawling and not be somebody who's just flying around. But out here on this grassy field, this is a ton of fun. This Jeep was built for exactly this and it does it really, really well. 
That was 25, almost 30 miles an hour ripping through here, and it's just soaking up the bumps great. This thing was built for exactly this, and I could not be happier with how well it's working. Just ripping back and forth. You get on it, even in four wheel drive, I get the traction control light flashing at me on the dash. It's fishtailing back and forth, I'm correcting it. <laughs> I could do that all day long. This thing is so, so smooth. So I just went over that little uh, that little hill back there. You can actually hear when the speed bumps engage, when they touch down on those bump stops. And it's not harsh at all. I actually heard it because those speed bumps do such a nice job of sucking that up. And between that and the rest of the suspension and those Fox shocks that are tuned specifically for this JK, this thing rides so comfortably. I could absolutely not be any happier with this Jeep. This was a summertime build. It's designed specifically for this running around on the farm, running around on the beach on a beautiful summer day like today. All the parts we picked were geared toward that from the tube doors to the other accessories. And this suspension was specifically designed for this, for higher speed off-roading and it is doing an amazing job. I'm gonna keep ripping it up out here. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to see other videos like this one, other builds, and comment below. Let us know what you think about this build and also what you wanna see us build next. But for now, I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com. Remember, when in doubt, throttle out.